One of the tertiary effects of this war, but one that is nonetheless important for American politics, is that it has minimized Donald Trump. In the run-up to the war, Trump got some attention. And remember, attention for Trump is like oxygen for the rest of us by calling Putin a genius and saying that what he was about to do was a brilliant move. Well, that was an absurd statement that shows Putin, uh, Trump's continued support for his patron. Nonetheless, it didn't get much traction outside of the fringe of the Republican Party. Most Republicans in Congress are saying some variation of the Biden line, that this is a war of choice by Putin and this is all of Russia's fault. I tend to support that view as well. So Trump is no longer for briefly, only for a couple of weeks now, no longer has the voice in the Republican Party that he's had since late 2015. I don't know how this will shake out. My sense is that a few months from now, Trump will back to being front and center, but we don't know that for sure. If this war goes on, Trump will struggle to get back on America's radar, to get back to be the focus of our attention. And that could be a positive thing, him continuing to struggle and ultimately failing. However, it's a long way to go before that happens.